Hi, and welcome to lesson 14 on important states of light. So far, we have only discussed very simple cases of quantum light, meaning we only talked about a single mode, and we only talked about a particular set of states known as the number states. In these two lessons, we will go beyond these simple notions and explore more complicated quantum states and also the case of uh, multimode quantum radiation. So let's begin with introduction to the block. As we said, everything we've done so far was very basic, just to teach you the basic techniques of calculating uh, uh, photo detection signals coming from single photons or from vacuums. Therefore, in this lesson, we will talk about coherent states. Coherent states can be written as a superposition of number states, and they arise as a special case of um, being the eigenstate of the annihilation operator. We will also talk about the properties of these coherent states, and in particular show that they are also an example of minimum uncertainty states, meaning that their fluctuations in the position quadrature and momentum quadrature, when multiplied together, saturate the Heisenberg uncertainty relations. We will think about what this means and whether we can trick the Heisenberg uncertainty relations by squeezing one of the quadratures at the expense of expanding fluctuations in the other. And this will lead us to the notion of squeeze states, which are very important states, not only in quantum communication, but in quantum technologies and information processing in general. In lesson 15, we will consider how to describe a quantum light in the case of multiple modes. So far, we've done only the description of a single mode of light. We will see that the description takes the same logic as a single mode, only the notation will have to be expanded a little bit. But doing this will allow us to revisit the notion of a single photon wave packet. Remember, we've said in the previous lesson that our model so far of the single photon wave packet is just a toy model and does not really represent a realistic single photon wave packet that can be produced in a laboratory. In this lesson, we will see how to describe such realistic single photons properly using the quantum formalism of multimode fields. And also, we will talk about realistic sources and realistic modern ways of detecting such single photon states. So, let's begin. <laughs> 